Hello guys, this is Enix Gaming by Safety Guy, and today I'll be showing you how to grow Joshua Tree. Joshua Trees and Seed. So right here we have some Joshua Tree Seeds, as you can see. Bought some on eBay from a local seller in California. These are what the Yoko Joshua Trees Seeds look like. As you can see, they're small black seeds. I was expecting them to be a little bit bigger, but yeah, I think these are pretty cool seeds. They come from the fruit of the Joshua tree. And uh, what I know is that native birds from Joshua tree will eat these seeds to survive. So yeah, to germinate these seeds, you basically put these in water, just straight water. And after about a week, seeds will eventually grow root. Now I've since put seeds in water, and yeah, I've since sprouted. All four sprouted, and they're nice and ready. So after about, about three days, you'll notice a little sprout coming from the seed. I have planted these on Saturday, and today is Friday. But you can see they are growing a nice little root right here. It's about an inch long in diameter or length. But yeah, it basically takes a week for them to sprout. And today I'm going to be going ahead and transplanting them into containers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Now, one good thing about the Joshua tree is that these are native to California, so they're not cactuses, but they're just succulents that are very um, strong to harsh weather, such as uh, severe heat or snow. Uh, I have seen these in Joshua Tree National Park, and I just thought these were some pretty good and interesting plants. That's why I decided to grow these. So fill the pot halfway. And you can go ahead. Very carefully. Grab a Joshua tree seed. And plant it. In the middle. Just like that. Then pour soil on it. Afterwards, you're going to want to water it, and in about one to two, three weeks, you will see a little green sprout coming from this pot. And it can vary from every seed. Some seeds can take a bit of a while to germinate. Um, but I have another Joshua tree as an example that I started growing two months ago. Prop the camera. This is what a Joshua tree looks like growing for two months. I since planted this in late August. It's been exactly two months and ten days. Or two months and around five, ten days since I planted one of these uh, straight in water. From the day I started growing. You can see it's about inch and it's about two inches big growing another leaf uh the third leaf died which was sad but i went ahead and cut it off so this is the or actually no the first leaf died this is the second leaf this is the third leaf so this is the third leaf coming it shouldn't have about three leaves now i grew four other ones but they since passed away for some reason they couldn't survive, but this one's doing pretty good. I put it in a big container and since transplanted it about a month ago. But you're going to want to water this and make sure that it's about moist. 
and not dry until a sprout comes up until it when it's this big you should be ready to go on growing it these do take a while to grow and i'm very excited to see how this series will come along in the near future so i'm going to go ahead and plant the other ones right now bought these on ebay for about two three dollars came with 30 seeds And I really like these plants. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. This is a bit of a sandy soil. Sandy, good soil. Uh, forgot the brand of the soil, but it's something about. It's I forgot the name of the soil, but it's good quality soil. It's not Miracle Grow soil or any other type it's it's a company that uh makes organic so i forgot the company i think it's called fox something soil i'm not sure but after this video i'll go ahead water these and yeah now the first time i saw a joshua tree was about two years ago and it really surprised me the, about the different types and sizes of Joshua trees and how you know amazing these plants can be how they can survive such harsh weather with minimal amount of uh, rain and just a ton of heat and that really surprised me how they can survive so this is what inspired me to do this little series and there's a rock right there underneath I'm gonna go ahead, plant the last one. get one last look on these seeds and the roots nice white root these seeds look pretty healthy So I went ahead, planted all of them, now let's go ahead and go water them. Alright, I went ahead and moved outside, so now we can go ahead and water these. take a while for these plants to settle into the dirt but I'll go ahead and update you guys on these plants thank you for watching and have a great day